No homo, but I wasn't gon' lose Cause I wasn't gon' suck dick for no views You see me if you see me, I ain't fuck it I had to get a hold of myself Alright guys, so here we go again. Like I said before, I'm going to be keeping you guys updated on what's been going on with my team and, you know, make new videos for you guys. And like I said, like most, you know, not most of you, some of you guys don't watch my, my Twitch streams and stuff like that. So some of you guys don't know what's going on. And I was going to update you on team updates and this and that and third and all this. So as you guys know, we're doing the top overalls at every single position. You guys see the squad. This is just a quick little update. Um... This is not even for a starter, but like I said, I'm keeping you guys in the loop on everything. You guys want fresh new content for, you know, whatever. So, and again, some of you guys don't watch my Twitch channel, so you guys don't know what's going on. So here we go. So as you guys can see, we're still a 97 overall. Um, we did buy two players though, but they weren't top overalls. Um, today is Wednesday. It's Wednesday, January the 6th, so, you know, we gotta wait till Saturday for the new Legends to come out and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, so, what players that we got is the new Team of the Week, since Team of the Week's already came out, and we got 94 overall Earl Thomas. Now, if you guys remember from the last update video, um, the roster update video, we had, um... We had Sean Taylor, Brian Dawkins, and Mike Mitchell. He was a 93 overall. Us doing the top overalls, like, in every single slot, you know, it's 97, 96, 93. Earl Thomas is a 94, so we had to sell Mike Mitchell and get 94 Earl Thomas. Now, he looks really good. Now, I remember his, well, I think it was an 88 overall or, like, an 87 overall. His base elite card, um really fucking good as you guys can see right here he has 96 zone coverage and 82 man coverage 92 speed and i mean he has 88 play rec but and only 82 hit power but this is i haven't played with this 94 overall as you guys like again we're playing highest overall so of course i'm gonna start sean taylor um so i really haven't played with this card too much i did give him a, a few reps in um for the stream and stuff like that but he i like i said from i remember from using his base card um solid as shit man and it obviously it could only get better from like his overall he, it can only get better so i bet he plays like a monster but unfortunately for us he is our third string overall guy, so I can't really use him for the most part unless, you know, it's like special teams or whatever. I, I doubt there would be a time where Sean Taylor and Brian Dawkins are both dead tired where Earl Thomas would come in. I would have to, like, really sub him in. But, yeah, so um, the second player we got was the other team of the week. Well, not team of the week. Um, The other team of the week was Sammy Watkins. Um... This is a new card also, but he's a throwback. Uh, Jason Pierre-Paul, 95 overall, right end. Um, before, we had our lineup was Deacon Jones, 95 Khalil Mack, and 94 Julius Peppers. Now, honestly, when it, I, I compared them to, when it, when it comes to Julius Peppers and Khalil Mack, well, look, we still got Peppers. Peppers didn't sell. Um, I honestly would go Peppers. Peppers is such a glitch. I'm I, like I said, um, I go highest overall, so I really haven't used um, this Jason Pierre Paul neither. But me doing highest overalls at every single slot, you know, I have to get him. Um, but I, he has m more block shed by three. But man, this Julius Peppers is a glitch. Like he's really so good. You guys can see he has two more play recognition. He has more power move. He has more finesse. Um, dude is just, dude is just beast, man. He has one more acceleration. He has three more speed, two more height. Like, I really feel like I could even put this Julius Peppers at outside linebacker and he would dominate also. Like, I don't know, man. Um, the one thing that really lacks on this Jason Pierre-Paul is that speed, that 83 speed. It's just... Uh, I, I don't know man um like i said before if it wasn't for overalls like i have to still sell this julius peppers but if it wasn't for overalls like i wouldn't have this jason pierre paul um but because we're doing highest overall i was forced to pick him up and i just show you guys my team 
right now and before the legends come out like as of right now of me recording this video i still only need two players kiko alonzo and emmett smith it, it comes back down to those two players man um kiko alonzo people are always jacking up his price trying to sell him for like 1 million coins and stuff like that emmett smith still goes well over a million coins now the thing with emmett smith is I think I'm like I, I think I said it in, in the last video. I think I'm gonna wait for Emmett Smith because obviously I don't need him right now. The only players that I honestly really need is I really need the starters. I already have all the starters as of right now. There's no reason in hell where I would spend what do you go for like 1.5 mil for Emmett Smith and he's going to be my second to third string running back. So I will I think I'm going to really wait on Kiko Alonso. I mean on Emmett Smith. Jesus. <laughs> I think I'm going to wait on Emmett Smith and I mean when the chance when the chance comes I will snag up Kiko. Um and we're just like right now we're just really either waiting for Kiko Alonso to go for how much he usually would sell for or we're just waiting for the new legends to come out with this 600k that we have right now um i don't depending on who the legends will be this week um hopefully kiko alonzo's price drops and emmett smith's price drop too i don't think emmett smith's price will drop too much because they just came out with the bo jackson so i doubt they're gonna come out with any legend running back like right now um because then um bo jackson's price will drop as well well not even because well hmm, nah, i think they're gonna um i think the players that they're gonna make are gonna be like 95 the legends are gonna be like 98 overalls i don't think they're gonna make any um 99 overall players yet um maybe till like february um they're gonna make uh 99 i don't think i don't think these new legends are gonna be 98 um 99 overalls so you still got um the right tackle that needs to come out i think they're um you know usually they've come out with what's his name from the cardinals dan deardoff um you still got this left guard that you know his overall is very low 93 overall you still got the center um with a 94 overall and i think that's about it everybody else is pretty high you know 97 98 96 they do need a new middle linebacker just somebody that's fast this zach thomas is so good but like he's not fast that 86 speed really kills him man because you got people like ryan shazier and eric kendricks and michael kendricks and they all have 90 plus speed at, at middle linebacker then you play with zach thomas and yeah he has that great play recognition like he knows where the ball's going but is he fast enough to get there now you got a lot of people using like the 90 the 88 todd Gurley, and he has 94 speed or you know some people still use the um dre archer that's zach thomas is not catching him bo jackson barry sanders marshall falk like you know these guys look barry has 96 speed bo jackson has 97 speed marshall falk has 94 speed this todd Gurley has 93 speed and this is the rising star 86 overall like he's not not catching him for the most part my marcel reese my fullback marcel reese is faster than my middle linebacker like that's a problem you know like it, like i said it really kills him and then it's navarro bowman too navarro bowman has 86 speed and it's just like bro what the fuck Derek johnson is worse he has 85 speed like you got lawrence taylor with 88 you got Derek brooks good job with 91 speed like holy shit get some fast linebackers like i've said before man if it wasn't for me going highest overalls i'd probably have i'd have lawrence taylor and i'd have Derek brooks i feel like they're really good i wouldn't have zach thomas i wouldn't have navarro bowman i wouldn't have Derek johnson i would have ryan shazier eric kendricks and michael kendricks you know them being fast and other fast fast linebackers like that man um just really good um but yeah, this is the team, man. Like I said, we're just waiting for either Kiko Alonso's price to drop to what it should be because people are always trying to sell him for like a million or we're waiting for the new legends to come out. There's no way in hell I buy a second or third string running back for 1.5 mil. 
no way <laughs> i mean i could understand me doing that like when the gold tickets come out or you know when it's the end of mutt and they're already putting out so many 99s and stuff like that they're just throwing out more and you know stuff like that i can understand me putting out a lot of coins for, for then but right now when you know there's still new cards coming out and nobody even has a 99 overall team and there's one two players with 99 overalls like it just doesn't make sense for me to spend that many coins oh three players with 99 overalls you got 99 obj 99 bo jackson and 99 Deion sanders so three players but it does just doesn't make sense especially he's a, he's not even a 99 overall he's he's a 98 he's gonna be my second or third string running back i'm not spending 1.5 mil for emmett smith but with that being said, he definitely will be coming on my team and um, getting on the getting his his position, his spot on the squad. But just just not as soon as I would have hoped. And you know, hopefully we can get some gameplay with him. And soon I will try and get some gameplay with this Earl Thomas and um, Jason Pierre Paul. Hopefully, like I said, um, when I get some, we just got him today. So we just got both these players today. So. You know, hopefully when we play some wagers or something like that, I'll, I'll sub them in and let's see what they are about, man. But this is it. Again, guys, I'm going to be every new cards we get and stuff like that. I'm going to be keeping you guys updated. You know, you guys wanted this. You guys wanted fresh new content. You guys wanted to know what the team looked like, especially you guys from like my stream and stuff like that. You guys always like on my YouTube comments like, hey, when are you going to? upload like you know new content you guys like they need to see the team and like people that only watch my youtube channel they're like oh your team sucks and this and that and everybody's like bro like have you seen the stream like he has the best team and stuff like that so like like i said i'm gonna be bringing you guys just all this crazy shit man hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys on the next one